guys, it's Angelica, and I actually forgot to film an intro, so now you're just going to see me wiping my face for an intro. Um, this is my first getting ready with me, so I hope you like it, and yeah. Okay, um, for the first thing I'm doing, obviously, is I'm taking off my makeup, because don't judge me, but I left my makeup on last night, and yeah, that was not a good idea, because then I started breaking out a little bit. Anyway. So obviously I'm taking off all my makeup and then I'm going to look like a zombie towards the end of this and I ended up washing my face after this and so that's why you will see me with a cleaner, fresher face. Now I'm going to take my Botanics um, color adjusting foundation. I've talked about this in a, a lot of videos already and I really love this one because it gives you such a good coverage and it feels very lightweight I mean I'm not really breaking out too much right now so I don't need anything too heavy and this is just the perfect thing for me and I am absolutely in love with it because after you put it on it makes your face feel so soft and I just applied that all over my face with my fingers now I'm taking my Maybelline fit me concealer and I'm just dotting that in all my problem areas and then I'm just blending that out with my fingers and in this video, you will most likely probably see me singing slash dancing a lot, so you're you're warned. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me con um, Fit Me powder, not concealer, and I am just applying that with my fluffy brush all over my face. Now I'm going to be applying my eyelid primer, which is L'Oreal Magic Decrease, and I'm just applying that all my eyelids. Now I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Palette, and this is in 510 Graffiti, and I'm taking like that champagne-y beige color, it's really shimmery and pretty, and I just put that all over my lids first. Now I'm taking the next color, which is the brown color, and I'm also just applying that all over my lid on top of the champagne-y color, and trust me, it will look better when we're done. And now I'm taking my fluffy brush and putting that black in my crease and I was feeling like really saucy or something today because I don't usually put the black on so I was like why not spice the look up a little bit. Now I am taking my crease brush and I'm taking that really shimmery white and putting it in the inner corners of my eye to brighten up my eyes a little bit because I've not been getting like any sleep at all okay next thing I'm doing is taking my Revlon Colorstay eyeliner and I'm putting that and I'm tight lining it and I also put it like in the corner of my eyes I guess I don't know why I just do it now I am filling in my brows with my Mary Kay eyebrow pencil and you can fill in your brows however you want to or if you don't that's cool too now it's mascara time! My two favorites have been my Mega Plush Volume Express, which I'm putting on right now. And I like to do this to like give my lashes volume, and then I use my clump crusher to like elongate them, I guess. I like that word. Elongate is just... I love that word, elongate. It's just such a fancy word. I, I don't know, don't judge me. Anyway, when I, I'm contouring my face, and I don't usually contour my face, but I felt like doing it today. And when I contour my face, I usually like to do from like the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth to get real like a good contour. And then I also do my temples. And the bronzing brush I'm using is just this one by e.l.f. that I've already shown in a couple videos. And my bronzer was from my e.l.f. beach palette that I've shown in a couple videos too. Now I'm going to highlight my face with this highlighter that is in my Urban Decay Face Case palette. And what I highlight is like right above my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and like my boa of my mouth or right above my mouth. Or what do you call that? I don't even know. Anyway, now I'm taking my Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Scandal. And I really love this color. And what I'm doing is I'm lining my lips with it. Kind of, I'm kind of like lining them. And then I feel filling it in, and yeah, I really love this color, but then I ended up messing it up, the tip of it, and now I am so mad. But anyway, enough of me and my problems. Now I am taking my Dr. Babe, my Dr. Babe, my baby lips Dr. Rescue on top of my lips. And this now is it's my hair time, and you're going to see like a lioness mane come out right now. 
And since I had curls from last night, I just brushed them out to make them like wavy. And it was very hard to brush because I had to brush very slowly even though it looks like I'm just wiping right through my hair. I'm really not. It took me forever to get through all those tangles. Now I'm taking my David Bappy for Wild Day Bohemian Beach Spray, which is like um, sea salt spray, and I just put that on my hair to give me more wavy waves and to make it look all like natural wavies, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't. Now it's gonna be outfit time! Okay, my outfit I'm wearing, I'm wearing some skinny jeans from Hollister. There's regular plain skinny jeans, and my lace top is from Kohl's, and I'm wearing a muscle tee under that, and my scarf is from Target. And one of the last things I do before I leave is put deodorant on, because you don't want those pits to be stinking during the day. And I've already put deodorant on before this, but I just want to show you. And the last thing I do is put on my perfume. That's the very last thing I do. And I'm just putting on my Wonderstruck Enchanted and I shimmy on in it. Okay, this is the end of the video, and I really hoped you guys liked it. I had so much fun making it. Like this video if you'd like to see more Getting Ready With Me videos. Comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. And... Um, subscribe and share please and I will also have a vlogging of what I did in this outfit so stay tuned for more thank you so much for watching ah, my tongue